Hello, it's me again. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody for the comments that have been coming from our first post, which was Rainbow Bridge. Uh, what I'd like to do is to read you some and see if I can tell you a little bit of a background, um, if I remember backgrounds of people and see if I can remember them. Now, the first comment here was by a girl, I won't say surnames because I don't know if people want them known, but she's called Joanne. And it just says, beautiful words by a, a wonderful man. Well, I didn't write the words, so, but they are beautiful. And the other one is by a, a girl called Sue. I've known this girl for many times. She wrote, I took my beloved cat Rastus to the pet cemetery in December 1990. Uh, this was only about six, seven months after we first started. And I think Rastus was probably our fourth or fifth burial. It was little more than a muddy field, but the kindness, empathy, and pure compassion shown by John made it the perfect place to lay my Rasti to rest. Bless you, John, and your family. You have turned that muddy field into a beautiful place of rest and reflection. Thank you, Sue. It'll be nice to see you again. This is from a girl called Sasha. You've all always been so kind to me when I've lost my pets. Knowing they'll be cared for with dignity when they pass is worth so much love, especially thanks to Jason. Now, Jason uh, does a lot front of house and many, many people remember him. He's very, very good. And I've got a girl called Dee here. Four of our rotties. Now, to people who don't know what a rotty is, it's a Rottweiler. Uh, I've passed through the Hollywell Pet Cemetery. Such love and compassion makes much, such an awful time made a lot more bearable. To know our babies have been treated with dignity and respect they deserved. It's by a little a guy called Chris. I know it's funny not to uh, say in the surnames, but I think in these days of um, data protection, we're best doing it that way. We came across Hollywell Pet Cemetery when our dog very sadly died whilst we were on holiday in Anglesey. The staff were so helpful and sensitive. We've been back to visit many times since and it gives us great comfort and pleasure. If many people don't come here, they, 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 we, we pick their pets up from the vet or from home where they've passed away and bring them back here for either for cremation, where they're cremated and the ashes are returned to people at home. Uh, this is because they probably haven't got a car or they're quite elderly, find it difficult to get upset. But the people who come here to visit when we do the, when we do the interment in the cemetery uh, of a dog in its coffin, do come back time and time and time again. Sometimes we'll get 100, 150 visitors in the course of a couple of days or so. A lot of people find it, there is a lot of comfort and having a full cool place where their pets are laid to rest. This is from uh, Paula. Uh, lost my precious baby Dinky on the 3rd of April, five weeks ago. I'm heartbroken, raw with guilt. I feel sad I should have done more. She died in her basket, I'm devastated. Don't be uh, devastated, Paula. Um, it's not your fault she's died, it's life. Uh, with every life, there's a death. Um, you loved her and cared for her all the time. Uh, she was alive. Don't beat yourself to death over it. Uh, it happens. Don't feel guilty. Maybe you didn't know about us at that time. Maybe you're upset, too upset to even think. We don't know, but please don't beat yourself up about it. People who are pet owners, uh, no, let's say people who are pet lovers understand the bond between their pet, whether it be a dog, 
whether it be a cat. Don't forget, people have got things like pet chickens, ferrets, pet rats, all sorts of animals. There is a bond there, right? The people who don't understand it are people who probably haven't got pets. Now, I think the pet owning public is about 84% of the population own either a dog or a cat or another kind of pet. So it's only that very small percentage who haven't got pets, but they might not have pets because they're working all day, it doesn't suit their lifestyle um, and all these other things. But the people who don't understand the bond, the percentage is very, very small, I would say. I do know that everybody who comes here understands the bond and they also understand the pain when that bond, bond is broken. In these days where it's just emails, quick phone calls, for somebody who takes the trouble to compose a comment and place it on and give us his feedback, it's just wonderful. Thank you very much so much from all of you.